A True Democracy Slash People Power Online Voting Guide 3 Chapter 1 Change the System Uniting to Demand for Online Voting, Issue by Issue Unite and Demand the People Power Program 1 The term representative democracy is an oxymoron. A real democracy doesn't have representatives. Everybody sits at the table equally. Anybody can suggest an idea. Everybody else votes on it. If somebody suggests an idea the others don't like, they vote on it and strike it down. We, the people, do not have the power to say I have a good idea or that's a bad idea, we want to vote it down. Replace politicians with the People Power Program slash PPP. If you want new ideas, go straight to the people. We set up two websites. The people recommend ideas that we vote on to become laws at townhall.gov townhall.canada.ca townhall.gov.uk, etc. The website is a running commentary of what people are thinking. They post up ideas, comments, etc. It's the nation's consciousness. The term representative democracy is an oxymoron. A real democracy doesn't have representatives. Everybody sits at the table equally. Anybody can suggest an idea. Everybody else votes on it. If somebody suggests an idea the others don't like, they vote on it and strike it down. We, the people, do not have the power to say I have a good idea or that's a bad idea, we want to vote it down. Replace politicians with the People Power Program slash PPP. If you want new ideas, go straight to the people. We set up two websites. The people recommend ideas that we vote on to become laws at townhall.gov, townhall.gc.ca, townhall.gov.uk, etc. The website townhall.gov is a running commentary of what people are thinking. They post up ideas, comments, etc. It's the nation's consciousness. We can vote on anything we want anytime we want. Everybody can contribute ideas that we all vote on. Once a year, we give our top 20 ideas to our leader who decides if they should become laws. We supposedly live in governments of the people by the people so by logical implication we have the right to vote to change our government structures if we want. You have to tell your president or prime minister to his or her face through journalists, internet video uploads and multi-thousands of emails to his or her email address. Under the PPP, we, the people vote on the articles in the budget that our one leader and his OR team create. If we vote something down, they have to change their budget. The People Power Program is a great idea for the evolution of democracy. Let the best ideas win not the guy with the most money to saturate the media with ads or the guy whose friends own media empires which bias the news his way. Real democracy is a whole bunch of people and groups with all kinds of different ideas stepping up to run in an election. Individuals can run to lead a country with their list of 20 best ideas. You can take a simple test to prove that your government does not do the will of the people. The big national TV news networks everywhere can easily set up an online poll for this test then announce the results on the news. Have the people vote online on 20 bills your government passed into law in the past year and see how many of them the majority of people vote against. The results will show that the government does not do what the people want. Set up an electronic voting system right away and hook it up to your national ID number database, social security number, social insurance number, to establish the pool of eligible voters. You, the people, will log into the website peopilapower.gc.ca, peopilapower.gov or something like that. If a million citizens in any country show up at their parliament building and each throw a dozen eggs and milk and honey in glass bottles at them, it would be a great easy, non-violent way to let the world know they want true democracy now. You don't even need to damage a parliament building. Just create a huge 40 by 40 canvas with your leader's face on it, drape it from the roof of your parliament building and start your egg revolution on his face. Televise it live to show all the people in real time throwing eggs at his face. A picture of 12 million eggs dripping off his OR face should be enough for the leader of any nation to know he or she had better do what the people want or get lost. Unite and demand the People Power Program 2. 
I went to a New Democratic Party rally at about the age of 14. They were supposed to be the cool left-wing party but I saw the same orchestrated event done for TV cameras as you can see with any political party. Then in the 1980s I heard Chuck Harder constantly preach that NAFTA, North American Free Trade Agreement, and GATT, General Agreement on Trades and Tariffs, would destroy manufacturing in the United States because the big companies would relocate to Mexico and China where labor is much cheaper and there are very few health and safety regulations. Big Business won. The people lost. Over a million factory jobs disappeared. How do we do what's right to help people with no ulterior motives? Name a politician out to do the right thing to help the people live better lives in a sincere, passionate, urgent way without ulterior motives. We live in a bad system. We can change the government so that we feed it ideas that we all vote on rather than letting anyone that we call our representatives presume to know what's right for us and do what they want which is exactly the system we have now. Ever since I was a kid, I felt that the people in Parliament were a bunch of fat cats and fat cat want to be elitists. Sure there were a couple of people in there that sincerely wanted to do something good to help people but my gut feeling was that as a group, they were a bunch of pigs. Watching it on TV, it looked like theater of arrogance to me, all these phonies talking crap, impressed with themselves. True democracy is ruled by the people. It's all the people deciding on the issues each casting a vote on the big ideas that will affect a lot of them. In a true democracy, anybody can create an idea which all the people vote on as individuals. Most ideas of democracy are about electing representatives to cast votes on issues on behalf of everyone. In the past, we did not have the logistics or technology for all the citizens to vote on ideas one by one. If you set up a system where there are only two big political parties, they have the monopoly on all the power so they can work together to pretend they are fighting based on ideological differences as theater just like professional wrestling. They take turns running the government. People get tired of one party, put the other one in. There is no improvement in life for the people while the politicians in power make networking connections to make money for themselves. Nobody else has any way of getting government power. The people as a group should constantly create the vision for the country with their individual ideas for new bills and vote on them. This would get rid of the elitist class of politicians that run the country and end almost all political corruption. It's easy to do. The only thing stopping us is. 1. The mass media's reluctance at this point in time to publicize the People Power program. 2. The politicians' refusal to do the right thing to help the people by giving them the power to vote on all the big new bills. If we want media attention, we, the people must protest, strike, fight, etc. The problem we, the people, have is that we are not united as one strong unit. We have lots of activists with the same message that the government stinks, the elected politicians are a bunch of selfish to evil bums and we have to change the system, but up until now, we did not have a simple common message which is the People Power Program, an online voting agency where the people vote issue by issue. The Cyber Town Hall which is a government website where anyone can post up ideas and the people can discuss them to decide on what's worthy to be voted on by all the people. Unite and demand the People Power Program 3. If we united as activists in United States, Canada, England, Australia, Sweden, Poland, South Africa and every other country with a representative democracy where the wise, enlightened people know it's a fraud masquerading as democracy, we can topple all these fake democracies to create true democracy where the people control both the creative ideas for the future of the country and the decisions to make them come to pass by voting them into law. The only things stopping us are fear and apathy. People are afraid of new things. If the people of the world have guts, they will stand up and change their fake democracies to become true democracies where everyone votes on every big bill. Get rid of the gangs. Let the people run the show as individuals. As a collective, they make the best decisions. Everywhere I look, I see splinter groups away from the mainstream mindset promoting their own interests which is a good thing. I watch the internet activists express their own views about what's happening in life away from the generic pablum on TV but it still hasn't broken the stranglehold the two major political parties have on the American government and many other governments worldwide. 
we have the technology for all the people of any country to go online and present their ideas as a simple, easy to understand bill. How often does your government pass laws that go against the will of the people? Unite and demand the People Power Program for. The definition of democracy is ruled by the people for the people. True democracy is not about representatives. It's one person one vote on every important issue. I want to vote directly as an individual on every issue that will affect my country, my fellow citizens and my life. How often do you hear of a bill passing into law that you think the majority of people would vote down if they were to vote on it specifically as one bill? True democracy is regular citizens creating ideas about how to run the country which the people scrutinize through an online vote. We need a paradigm shift in government away from electing people and letting them run the show to taking politicians mostly out of the equation, reducing them to minor players while giving the power to ideas not politicians anymore. We, the people, can rule ourselves. We should not give our power away to fake representatives who represent themselves while pretending to represent the people. We, the people, can create ideas as individuals, put them into an online forum and vote on them one by one to rule ourselves thereby eliminating the fake representatives that rule us now. True democracy is one person one vote on every important issue. Unite and demand the People Power Program 5. We need the People Power Program to safeguard against reckless government spending on stupid, wasteful, or bad ideas that help bigs hots but not the people much. This is the vision for a better life for all of us. Get together and demand a reasonable change in the way democracy is run to that of a vote by all the people in the important issues. It's a reasonable request in a free country. If the authorities try to fight you then you know your politically elected representatives are not out there to help you, the people. If they were, they would pass the People Power Program slash PPP right away and put it into practice. Change the way we run our countries so that the people discuss their problems and issues in a cyber town hall and come up with ideas of what to do next. We, the people, should be running our own show, making our own decisions as to what to do with taxpayer money, not let a few big brothers presume to know what's good for us better than we know ourselves. If you want your country, state, or city to evolve to a true democracy, be ready to fight your government in order to get it because even though parliaments supposedly exist to help their constituents live better lives, I'm betting that many will not readily pass a law that gives the people the power to vote on the big issues including ones that affect them like abolishing their political chamber and replacing it with an ombudsman program. Politician will try to stop the people power program because it's a threat to their power. They don't understand that their job is to empower people not keep them down. There will be fights and conflicts but once this idea is out there, one government will adopt it. The sky won't fall. Our representative democracies have been bumbling along with the pretense of working hard to help the people. The parties won't have to fight each other anymore. With true democracy, we will be focused on new ideas for the betterment of the country. Everything will be upfront and simple. The people will vote and that's the final say on the matter. The purpose of a democratic government is supposed to be to help the people. Help them by giving them more power in determining their own affairs. Unite and demand the People Power Program 6. Helping people is not rocket science. Simply spend money on them rather than spending it on useless things like a massive bureaucracy, favors for corporate bigs hots, the military a security service that supposedly guards phony secrets we don't have or need since we don't have any enemies, the Senate, fighting a drug war that never ends, hosting G8 meetings, attending conferences around the world that never yield anything useful for the people, etc. The journalists will have plenty to report on with the ideas at the Cyber Town Hall. Instill the People Power Program and the Cyber Town Hall as the law in your country.